Hello, 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 hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. My name is Sayyam and welcome back to the channel, right? Today, we're gonna solve this very, very interesting problem of best time to buy, sell and stock five by like lead code. It's love making parts. For the, I think, jumping game, to, they have made, I think, 12, 9, 10 parts. Stack also will reach at that point of time. So yeah, this problem is interesting. If you have solved enough problems, this is a doable problem, but at the very most, it's a very good problem. I would rate this problem around 7.5 to 8 out of 10. This is a good problem. And yeah, let's get started with the video. Then, if you are new to the channel, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel because we make awesome content around DSA Tech and AI. Right. You're given an integer array prices. Let's say I think stock week is going on. Stocks and stocks, but we don't have stocks. Sad life, but okay. Yeah, price is someone to have lead could have at least prices of IZ price of the stock in dollars. Wow, of the IA day and an integer. Okay, you allowed to make at most k transactions. That is very, very important. The constraints each transaction can be described of the following they are some type of transaction. The first type of transaction is normal transaction. That means what you buy a stock. Actually, lead code is teaching us finance also. That is good, but buy a stock and then you can sell later. Sell later. And another thing is you just short sell it. What is the concept of short sell? That is also very, very interesting. Like what you're gonna do is just short sell it and then you can buy back. Buy back. This is also very interesting. That means if the stock is falling and you know that it is going to fall, you can bet on that also. Downfall betting, you can do that as well. People have earned money that way as well. Short sell. Now you must complete each transaction before starting another. That is very, very important. That makes the problem actually simpler. That what they are trying to say is, let's say you are in the middle of a transaction. That what you can do, you gonna buy, you buy that stock, let's say on 12th. And then um, you want to again buy back on 13th. Another stock, you hedge the fund, say right? something like that. But you cannot do that. There is no stock market going on. So you have to complete the previous transaction. You cannot short sell also. You cannot apply any strategy, trading strategy. Oh, I want to maximize the profit. No, 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 no. You cannot do anything perfectly. You have to sell that. Then you can buy. Okay. The same way, you if you have short sell that, this is short sell. Then you have to buy. It. Then only you can start a new transaction. This is not buy is not that buy. Okay. I hope you're getting it. This is a buy of this short sell. Okay. Uh, also, they want to try to mention is that let's say uh, you are doing a buy and then you are selling it because you have to complete this transaction. You cannot buy back again here. Here cannot. At most one thing cannot, cannot, at most one thing only can be done on a particular day. Let's say you can buy only or you can sell only. Right. You cannot do up oh i just sell my stock and i buy back at the same position sorry you cannot do that right these all things actually make the problem very simple okay return the maximum total profit you get it right after seeing this the what is the first thing comes to your mind sayam constraints constraint is the key constraints makes me happy today surprisingly k is 10 power 3 n is 10 power 3 shop is simple shop Become simpler, very, very important. Become simpler. You don't need to think about much. Okay. See, whenever you see these kind of constraint-based problem, right? But you can pick, you can buy, you can sell. And if you solve previous version of these stock uh, buy, sell, stock problems and budgeting, they're just variations. Always think of DP. See, how do you think that say it is a DP problem? Why? There are two hints which I got it. Firstly, the constraints. Constraints. Constraint told me straight away DP. Why? Because see, what we need budget uh, uh, number of transaction K is there. That is a constraint. Also, I need to check out on each stock. That is N. That is a constraint, and that is in our limit. N square complexity will be allowed. So this is 10 power 6, and this is allowed. There is no problem. We can go as much as high as 4 into 10 power 7. There is no problem with that, right? So this gave me hint. And another thing. That you can pick a stock, you can buy a stock, you can sell a stock. You have choice that on a particular day, 
oh you just god give you some boon or oh, this stock will increase or this stock will decrease something something like that obviously this strategy is unreal because you already know the future price right so actually the profit what we make right this is the best possible profit we can make i hope you're getting it it's not like this is a very good thing but this is just conceptual on a day you want what you options you have you can buy a stock you can short sell a stock what you can do you can sell your bot stock sell your bot stock you can buy your short sell stock short sell stock and another thing is eat five star do nothing skip means hold whatever position hold the position these are the five things you can do i hope you are getting it right now whenever you see these thing okay it's very easy to convert this into a dp problem the transitions you are let's try to talk about also the states so after seeing this i already actually mentioned all the states but okay i will again mention it i will mention i obviously this is the index we are currently at so this is the day so we require that and another thing we require is the number of transition we have covered so k number of transitions number of transaction we have left we have left obviously we will do it recursively try to do it iteratively also that will make your concept better uh, i will tell you the recursive thing because recursion works here we number we have left okay now let's try to talk about the transitions do you need one more state tell me in these kind of problems you don't know whether you buy the stock whether you whether you sell the stock uh whether you sell the stock or you don't know about it right uh this is very very important this is very very important right so what we can do is uh we have a number of transaction we have left right now we have to think about the transactions trans transitions okay what is the transitions hmm before that i was talking about that do you need an any another state right now let's say you buy a stock now you're selling it now your computer does not know right are you selling your stock or you're short selling it because actually they mean both the same actually they are same mathematically not conceptually mathematically they are same right so um, what we can do we have to maintain some another state also one more state we require let's say i name this state okay you can do one more way also i will tell you firstly that way which i thought initially and then i transition into this one single state let me define another two states then i will convert to this so let's say i define a type what is a type type will tell me whether is i am short selling or i am uh, long or maybe buy or buy so it have two possibilities two possibility and another thing is i will an maintain another state let's say a state that will tell me whether i am holding a position or i am like i can start a new transaction there are two options either i am holding a position a position or i am free to take i am free to take a new transaction free to take a new transaction okay so you can maintain actually these two states also separately like actually you, you can have four state like the i the k the type and state but i am merge this into a single state how let me just show you okay so what we can do firstly try to think in the right direction this type and state then we can convert into this right so what is the possibility let's say your state is zero state zero means you are like you can start a new transaction start a new transaction this is state zero i would say this holding a position i would rate it state one okay short selling means i will make it one and buy means i will make it zero okay if state is zero that means what i can do what i can skip also skip to i i can always do right skip to i have always do so what you can do skip to is very simple let's say i have a sol thing i go to the next index 
I maintain the prices are prices only and uh, transaction remains key itself key 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 right and uh, what else will change the type remain type what are I am holding maybe type or uh, what what is that type and state remain state okay these are the things this is the skip skip is immaterial it can skip any time right there is no condition check over there. Otherwise, 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 let's try to think about now of the cases. Let's say state is zero. That means what? We can start a new transaction. That we can start a new transaction. So you can buy that stock. For buying the stock, very important, you have to take the minus. People confuses here. See, you have to buy that. Means you have to pay price now. So you can do a minus prices of I. Of I. And plus, what is the transition? Tell me. You go to I plus one, absolutely prices remain prices. One transaction reduces. See, you can do one thing. You can do, do this like also key. You complete a transaction here itself, but it's better when you sell this stock, right? Then you complete the transaction because transaction is completed there. So it, it remained K itself. You can do here also, but that will make more sense. What is the type? See, now very, very important. Type we which we have taken, which is zero. We have taken a buy. We have to make it zero. And state is what we make a state it means we are now we are a uh, thing right it, it is we are we can say we are not in a zero state we are, are holding a stock now otherwise now it could happen we can take a sell also so you can say short sell so short sell what we can do is now see here it is opposite here it is opposite here we are selling it first that means we will take a positive five solve of I plus one prices remain prices. K my K remains K. I will take in a similar way. We'll take the transaction when it is we are buying back the stock again. See, which is the type? Type is one. The state is one itself again. Why? Because we are holding a position. Now other cases, else cases, state is one. State is one. If state is one, right? What was what does that mean? State is one means uh now. Tell me one thing. Can I? Uh, it depends on what type, right? It depends on type. If type is equals to zero, what does that mean? We have already buy that stock. I cannot do anything. Either I can skip here, or what I can do, or I can sell that stock, whatever I bought it, right? So I can say that you can just buy all well thing. You can just do a prices of buy. This time positive because we are selling it. The our bought stock. What we are doing? We are doing solve i plus 1. We are doing prices. Obviously, now we will reduce the transaction which is k minus 1. Right? We are reduce the transaction k minus 1. And what we going to do? We going to do. The transaction is over. So, our state. See, type does not matter now. Type does not matter. But the state is very, very important. It becomes 0. It becomes 0. Right? That is important. Otherwise, type is 1. See, I cannot do anything now in the short sell side, right? Short sell side. Minus of price of I. Very, very important because now we are buying that stock. Solve of I plus 1 for I says K minus 1. We are taking a transaction. It does not matter and it does not matter. State becomes zero. You can make it zero. You can make it one. This is immaterial. This is immaterial if the state is zero, right? I hope you are getting it. Now, this is zero, zero, and this is fine. So, and now what you're going to do is we just finally return the max of what? By max of short sell. Or you can just skip. These are the three things. You just finally return the maximum. This is the idea. Okay. Now, we, we see thoroughly what are the states we have used. We have used 0, 0. We have used 1, 1. And we have used 0, 1. Right. That is why I was saying you can convert that into a single state. Single state. That means what? Let's say you have a 0, 0. That means you can stay state equals to 0. You can define yourself, right? If you have uh, what zero one right it was zero one only right it was zero one we can state this as one state equals to one and one one you can say state equals to two 
this is how we transition into a single state we can change our state and this is the only transformation we will do and yeah this is the idea which we are doing right so we buy that same the logic remains same and then finally what we have to do we have to just memoize it memoize it also let's try to think about base cases also which we are remaining base cases what is the base case uh base case is same firstly the base case is if k less than becomes zero our transition becomes like we do more transactions which we cannot do so we'll return straight away a very less value not zero very very important very less value it could be to mean it could be minus 1 e 9 i just generally do 1 e 9 means minus 10 power 9 okay otherwise now here comes the most important part try to understand that what we are, i'm trying to do if i reaches the end of the index just a second guys yeah sorry for the interruption so prices dot size now here comes the most important part here comes the most important part people will straight away return zero but no you cannot do that why try to understand that you have to complete a started transaction let's say you have already bought a stock and you have to sell it you forgot to buy it you buy at some particular index and you forgot to sell till the end we'll say oh, we will sell it later later all the prices got over you never sold that that should not happen so here you have to check if state is zero then only you will return zero right that means you can start a new transaction you completed all the previous transaction otherwise you will return a minus 1 e 9 because this is an impossible state it is an impossible state right this is very very important to understand that right i hope you understood the all all the base cases let me just quickly show you the code and the implementation right so this is the implementation so what you're gonna do is firstly the base case k becomes less than zero it is impossible if we reach the end of the index we have to check oh, if the state is zero that means we have completed all the previous transaction will make a zero otherwise we will return a minus one e nine that means it is an impossible state this is the memoization step i k n state is a 3d dp the complexity becomes what n into k into 2 or you can say 3 okay which we reduce from n into k into 4 to n into k into 3 this is the normal this is the short cell we initialize with previously with minus 1 e 9 minus 1 e 9 means this let's say is impossible to think uh, reach so minus 1 e 9 minus 1 e 9 skip so already we can always remain same irrespective of anything any state now the state is zero what we can do we can start a new transaction either normal either short sell minus price of i plus price of i do a price thing we are not reducing the k here we'll reduce when the transaction becomes over this one and two is very very important now the transition is changing right one means we did a buy two means we did a sell short sell state becomes one that means we already bought a stock we want to sell it so we want to sell it we do, we'll do a price of i we'll do i plus one we make it zero that state becomes zero we have completed our transaction we can start a new transaction we'll reduce the transaction and we come a dp we can check k here also but i generally check k above itself so there is no required of checking k it is less than zero or not so we don't need to check it because we already defined the base case right otherwise we do a short sell and then this short sell also it's very simple very very important when you're doing this minus sign when you're doing this plus sign so very very important and uh, otherwise it is perfectly fine and you're just memorizing this step all the maximum will gonna return all three of maximum and this is a 3 ddp you can make this and yeah i hope you understood the entire solution the entire thought process we'll see in the next video then we'll then keep learning goodbye